Jeff Gibbs, who you heard earlier in the Johannesburg segment, is a young environmental educator from Vancouver who had a great vision. Let's throw 12 youth from around the world, a whole bunch of mentors and clack with sound together and see what they come up with. The result is a documentary that went to Johannesburg. You guys watch your ears, eh? Watch your ears. Thunder, 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 thunderation, we're the life bus. Delegation, when we work with determination, we create a presentation. Thunder, thunder, thunderation, we're the life bus. LifeQuest is a project to enable young people from around the world to discover uh, sustainable development. We're in paradise. A vision for the world where humanity can prosper without compromising the life support systems of the planet. And through their discovery, they're also learning how to create media so that they can express this vision to a much wider audience. Nosotros somos LifeQuest. LifeQuest has brought together 12 extraordinary young people from eight parts of the world. They range in age from 17 to 22, and they've all had an interest and an experience in working with sustainable development or environmental projects in their own countries. And they're bringing that awareness and perspective to the discovery of sustainable development in the Clackwood Sound Biosphere Reserve. So their videos are not only about this place, but about themselves, their discovery, their interpretation of what's being done out here. You're putting together the most absurd combinations of things you could ever put together. You're putting really, really, really expensive cameras and computers with heat and sand and teenagers. And you're putting tons of boys and girls of all different ages, religions, cultures, all different backgrounds. You're sticking them all together in these little tents for an entire month. And you're also teaching them about all the sort of I mean, it, all the things we're learning about the environment is pretty much positive, but you're still thinking about all these huge world issues and how you're going to save the world. Right here, we've got uh, our editing tents where the life questers are assembling their videos from the various experiences they've had on this journey. Some of these videos are about specific projects uh, that are examples of sustainable development, be it whale watching or shellfish aquaculture or sustainable forestry. And some of the other videos they're creating are more introspective in nature, where they're bringing their own experience from the various parts of the world which they've come from, together with what they've discovered here into a vision, their own personal vision for a better world. Pojina naitwa Jacob Uma Udongo. Mimi ni mzaliwa wa Kisumu na kwa sasa nasoma katika college moja kule Nairobi. LifeQuest ni mkusanyiko wa wanafunzi ya kimataifa kutoka kote ulimwenguni. Their videos are going to be screened at the Earth Summit uh, in Johannesburg at uh, in, in August as well they will be uh, screened on television. Their journey of discovery will become the uh, journey of many, many other people. Vijana wenzangu, mengi kuhusu jamii, misitu, wanyama, na pia kujuana nao vizuri, na kuja kujenga vifa kama video, zile wana, wana what are, you, what are the greatest obstacles facing people getting involved in? Well, the greatest obstacle we have is unemployment. People are ready to do everything in their power to get a job. Somebody just to volunteer, work for some organization, they'll think that it is a big joke because they don't have a job. They are seeing somebody destroying something. Instead of fighting to protect that thing, they'll, they'll volunteer to destroy more so that they can earn something from it. Are you guys logging capturing? Uh, no, we have finished. Can we use the camera? Yep. Can you unplug? Yes, I will. Did you ever think that there was a more sustainable way to live than the way you live today? 
Have you ever thought about creating minimal impact on your surroundings? We have come to such a stage that we are consuming the world's resources incessantly. The time has come for us to stop, to look back, to reflect, and to see our mistakes, and then look ahead to decide what we can change in the future. I have heard these words maybe a thousand times, but I don't see a change. If we want to change our course of destruction, we have to take power into our own hands. When I think about sustainability, I try to think of it in three terms, economical, environmental, and social. We have so many environmental problems, I can't even like say them all. We have erosion, and we use tons of soil every year. And the Marmara Sea, that Istanbul has a coast, is polluted. My parents used to swim in the Marmara Sea. I can't swim. I wish I was like Waldemar and I had more faith in my country and our future, but I don't. What I want to do is just get the message across that we, we have to leave our reality as an island. We have to use our resource wisely. We have to educate our children that we are part of nature instead of something other than nature and that we have to care for them, care for it. And that <laughs> nature is the essence of human beings and without it we're going to be gone. To move forward we have to think about the past. Nunchanat people who has been living in Vancouver Island, Canada for thousands of years have managed to live sustainably until the European colonization. Ishuk, Ishtzawak and Isak, uh, everything is connected and respect is probably present in a lot of native communities and it needs to be practiced again when you start talking about managing resources. Uh, when you want to harvest a tree you have to acknowledge that that tree is alive it's not just an inanimate object. You want to do the, the title? Yes. Uh, will we okay. go here? Which is here? Let me see the colors. I don't know if the colors worked out. There. A, there. What us as young individuals, the future generation, generations want for our future, we want to, we want a better life. We want a life in, in a life where we can, we can live in, in commun, communion with, within the nature environment. You know, as a, something else, we're part, integral part of it.